first pictures of a new aircraft for the fleet air arm, the Fairy Firefly. Of unique design and outstanding performance, the Firefly is a fighter reconnaissance machine carrying an observer as well as the pilot. Special flaps improve its maneuverability at certain heights, reduce landing speed, and also facilitate takeoff. As a fighter, the Firefly has four 20mm cannon and it's fast enough to lead fighter or fighter bomber attacks. Thanks again to the flaps, its range of speed is such that it can slow down to give close protection to torpedo bombers. As a reconnaissance aircraft, the Firefly claims to be ideally suited to fleet air arm operations in which searching and shadowing are so vital a part. Fireflies have already been in action, giving a very good account of themselves. The royal family paid visits to ships of the escort, to the cruisers Cleopatra and Diadem and here to the big aircraft carrier Implacable. It's reported that neither the Queen nor the Princesses had seen a fly-off from a carrier before, so no doubt this was a thrill. Fires and fireflies attacked a target towed astern with rocket fire, and pretty good shooting it was. Sea fires and fireflies of the aircraft carrier HMS Triumph provided Britain's earliest contribution to the United Nations forces operating against the North Korea. Flying in from sea, together with aircraft from the American carrier, Valley Forge, they've been making many strikes against important targets in communist-held territory. With Britain's Far Eastern land forces fully committed in Malaya and Hong Kong, air sea power was nevertheless quickly on the spot to play its part in the conflict. One of Triumph's fireflies had had its undercarriage damaged over Korea, that made a pretty good landing on, considering its condition. It's called the Fire Flash, this air-to-air -air guided missile made by fairies for the RAF. First pictures to be released show it being carried by a meteor jet fighter. The firing range control room plots the movement of all aircraft on the operation and also gives the word to fire. The target plane, a Firefly, takes off unmanned but radio controlled. Piloted from the ground, the doomed aircraft flies to its position for the test demonstration. Now the meteor sets out to hunt down its quarry. From down below comes the count, four, three, two, one, now. The fire flash, streaking off at supersonic speed, seems to take an erratic course, but there's nothing erratic about it really, for it seeks out its target with deadly accuracy. Its proximity fused and explodes in lethal range. Here's another record of a kill. 